Choosing the right college may be one of the most important decisions you make in your life. From faculty experience to the strength of a school's curriculum, there are many factors to consider. And what you learn is just as important as how you learn. Today, more and more universities are developing programs that combine education with hands-on experience. The hands-on learning project that I just did was for a program called Discovery Day and we chose to do pinhole photography. So we made our own pinhole cameras, um, we researched them and how to do them and then after we made them we went out and actually used them to take pictures and developed our own prints. I think more colleges are incorporating hands-on learning because it's the right thing to do. It is important for our young people to do things on their own and to experiment. Hands-on programs carry the learning process outside the classroom, but still allow students and professors to work one-on-one. -on -one. If you are working together with a student or a group of students on a research project, you get to know those students better. There's a, there's a real interaction, there's a real cooperation, there's a sense of collaboration. When I was working with the professor, he knows a lot about pinhole photography because he's been doing photography for over 30 years. So it was definitely a mentor relationship, but he also was learning new things about it and we got to experiment a lot together. So he also had the, um, the very interesting aspect of being able to say, oh, I've never seen that happen. Um, you know, let's try this. So we would try different things like putting three holes in a camera and seeing what that would do. With the goal of developing a well-adjusted student who will lead a well-balanced life, administrators are also strengthening programs that promote learning through participation in community service programs and overseas study. Schools feels compelled to offer majors in international studies, in international business, or in foreign languages, because uh, the future protagonists of society, in society, will need those skills. But uh, you don't learn just on books. You learn when uh, you have uh, your experience face different realities. And I just really feel that the knowledge and the experience that you gain from going abroad and kind of putting yourself outside of a comfort zone is, a, is something that everybody should experience. It's something where I'm going to really take this experience of going abroad for my whole life and I'm going to apply it to every situation that I'm in. I think that it's important that uh, schools incorporate an international dimension in the curriculum and also offer the possibility to study abroad because uh, the knowledge per se has to be global and international. There is no corporation that doesn't face uh, the need to have an international group of people working inside or with a sensitivity for international issues. We live in a community of students who we can work together and we can help other people so we can use this time freely um, to give to others. The program is set up so that we have students donating and skipping their Wednesday night meal, and then the money from that meal goes towards making sack lunches, and then on Saturdays we deliver those sack lunches to residents in the community. There's a motto by Mother Teresa that says, if you can't feed 100, then feed just one. Whether it's done locally, nationally, or internationally, today's students are learning lessons that will last a lifetime. On the banks of the Missouri River lies Benedictine College, a place where learning, community, and tradition are strongly woven together. The community aspect is very important because Benedict taught that uh, it's the power of the whole is more important than its individual parts. And, and so we have a lot of uh, teamwork, a lot of community that happens on our campus. Heir to the tradition set forth by Benedict more than 1,500 years ago, Benedictine College is dedicated to excellence in education. That commitment earned Benedictine a ranking by U.S. News & World Report as one of the top master's schools in the Midwest. All of us are united in our sense of mission here. Uh, I think that often strays quite a bit as colleges and universities get larger. But here, we all have the same motives, the same intentions, and the same objectives for our students. The Discovery Program provides students with the opportunity to expand and test their knowledge outside the classroom. You learn about something you always wanted to know, but may not get the chance to learn in a class. And I think that good teaching involves faculty coming to know their students. And the better that they know their students, the better they can engage them, both in the classroom and the better they can help them in these research projects. Benedictine is also working to broaden its international program. 
if I study Florentine art and I am in Florence, uh, I have the best living book in front of me, the best living museum in front of me. So I don't see those uh, uh, pieces of art uh, at the Metropolitan, but I see where they were created. We recognize that today at Benedictine College where we are educating the future CEOs and bank presidents and lawyers and doctors and principals, but we also take very seriously that we're also educating future scout leaders and little league coaches and mothers and fathers, people who will make their families strong, their communities better, and the world a better place to live.